Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a physics lesson to share with you today. We're working through our Waldorf curriculum by Live Education and we're working on the optics lessons and we started out with shadows and now we've moved into color. So for this lesson, we're going to be making a color wheel and I'm going to be doing this inside a main lesson book rather than on the chalkboard. And these main lesson books measure nine and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. We're going to set our compass at about four inches and this is because our page is large enough to make this large of a color wheel. So I'm going to draw my circle right in the center of the page. And then I'm going to set my compass on the circumference and I'm going to do six division of a circle by swinging arcs along the circle and placing my compass at each of those arcs. So very easily, we're going to get our six division. I'm going to connect each of these arcs and making sure I go through the center and we have our six division. Now this is where I should have stopped and just done our color wheel this way, but I decided to make it a 12 segmented color wheel. So I'm making my arcs now on those same original arcs, but I'm making my arc outside of the circle and where each of them crosses, I'm going to connect with my ruler right through the center of the circle. And in this way, we're going to bisect each of those sections in order to get 12 sections. This last one went off the page, so I used a little bit of paper so that I could mark my arcs, and that way I could get the last one. So you only need to do half the circle since you're going to go right through the center all the way to the other side. I'm going to reset my compass at three inches and again at two inches and once again at one inch and do concentric circles and that way we can get variation in each of those colors. I'm also going to mark on the outside the six primary and secondary colors. So the rainbow colors, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green. And then the places that are not labeled are going to be those colors that are mixed between yellow and orange. I'm using some Stockmar watercolors. These are the pan watercolors. And I'm going to check my colors first and then I'm going to paint because they have a couple different yellows to choose from. Same with the reds and the blues. And I just wanted to check which colors I was using as I went along. I'm going to start with the primary and secondary colors first. And I'm trying to go from intensity on the outside of the circle to a very light pale version of that same color towards the center. So it's really easy to get the very intense color. It's pretty easy to get that very light color, but the differentiation between the two middle colors was quite challenging. And so in this case, I think three levels would have been sufficient. To get the strongest color, I'm using a little bit of water, making sure that my paintbrush is well saturated with the color. And then I'm just using a little bit of water to water down my paintbrush as I go lighter and lighter. And that's the format that I felt worked the best. I did practice with the yellow and the orange first. And with the yellow, you see very little differentiation between the colors. And yellow is a very difficult color in order to get intensity with. But the other colors came about a little bit easier. And then in order to get the colors in between the primary and secondary color, I sometimes mixed both the primary and secondary color or I used one of the other colors in the color palette in order to get a color in between. It does take a little bit of trial and error to get the color that works best. And I think just mixing the primary and secondary color probably gives you a more authentic color in between those two colors. So I'm working on my last one, a golden yellow orange, and it looks very similar to the orange. But once this is done, I'm going to let it dry thoroughly. And this is going to help us with our after image lesson where we're looking at the after images that the colors make. And that's basically the color on the opposite side of the color wheel. I hope that you enjoyed this look at our physics lesson. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information and links to all of the materials that we're using as well as more tutorials. You can find the link to that blog post in the description box below. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.